Damn, I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops. Tops what? The dragon's back! I can't! You saved my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Busi. One day you'll be king. And kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. A nice. Help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire.
Ah, I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. Foltest told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Foltest did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing, for I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Trist participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue-striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. No! 
Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Engerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we um, teach him a lesson. What he did to the forest. I'll not touch this gum. I get scurvy. Guard, come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again, and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Your guts out!
What was that? Huh? What was that? I'll smash you! Prisoners escaped! Guards! Where the hell is everyone? Guards! Over here! Uh, what was that? Support! Oh! On the double! Anyone there? Please let me out. I beg you. Don't bother. Draw half the garrison here. I am Shilad Fitzestelen, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalette. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you! Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. himself
In, Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son, Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette needs suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? I had no choice. He knew what can happen once swords are drawn and begin to swing. He chose death over shame. Stubborn like his father and grandfather before him. Honor above all. How did he die? Did he suffer? No. I doubt he felt the final blow. Didn't even see it coming. There's that, I suppose. Milady, I killed many during the assault, not just your son. War demands sacrifices. You might remember that the next time you're about to start one. Have some compassion, Master Geralt. The Baroness requires support. She is distraught as it is. Unnecessary toil, Excellency, for witches have no feelings. And the truth, especially when painful, can wake us from the slumber of self-deception. I deserved as much. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too, See a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the devil. I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the king? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. He laughed at pleasantries, envied those better than him, feared those stronger, despised the weaker and killed those he hated. Those he loved he presented with Ballistae. He was a man like any other, except he was born to be king. True. He was a boar in a crown. My lady. <laughs> and that was the first and last honest epitaph he'll get. Once the poets start in, nothing will remain of the real faultist. My lady. You will set down your memoirs. I shall make that my mission. Once we bring in the appropriate artist... Later, Excellency. All in due time. The Ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the King. Your Excellency, you will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Marava when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? My lady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. Attack the Witcher! What was done? God! The witch has fled his cell and is raging in the dungeon. Restrain him immediately. But... One more word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang beside the fugitive. To the dungeon, on the double!
halt! Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Scoia'tael? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorva, for some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you any more, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kennet told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Slayer's escaped. We need to cut him off. Follow me. All right. Let's go. Geralt, over here. You were to sneak out. Avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marivo rule Temeria now. Or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. 
Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. If you want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheath your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk.
bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Eder, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crowned. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edern. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? Plotson should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's gotta look after you. That time of the month. Witcher, we're waiting. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months.
What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. You coming? Everything all right, Geralt? Come on! Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? The Orveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that? I smell an elf. Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorver, a regular son of a whore. I'd long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? A dwan even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty, he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this, Pish! Stop! Hey!
should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. Tris is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? Spell's still working. Stay close. What's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way towards Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your commandos. I'm a woman. You're a <sighs> Let's go. Stop Are you all right? Yes. Fine. Such a bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is he? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waning. Trace. Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Squirrels are attacking! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mind among them! Ready yourself! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Eric. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah, the Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Not likely. Did you say that? Squirrels are our very wounds. Yorveth led them. I saw them with my own eyes. Don't know that I've the strength to work today. Don't know that I've the strength to work today. Real good at guy.
I think the stew's ready. <laughs> 